Hello everyone on YouTube, it's Mr. Twister55. I have my Pro 106 digital trunking scanner. And I'm going to attempt to show you how to program it in a better video than before. So what you want to do first is print off your radio reference scanner frequencies for your county. As you can see, this is Dauphin County Public Safety. And the system type is P25. That's all you need to know. So if your system is a P25 system, pay attention to the first part of this video. I'm going to show you how to program a P25 system into your Pro 106 scanner. So first what you want to do is look down here at these frequencies, which is down the page here. Now the important thing about here is this right here. This is the tower sites. You want to find your closest one. Now if you have a simulcast tower, that's a different story. It gets a little bit more complicated. I suggest you program in the simulcast if you have it. If you don't have simulcast, program in these towers. Pick three or four of the closest towers. Keep in mind that Dauphin County is a very large county and has many more towers than what you may have at home uh, at, your, at your county there. So what you want to do first, we found out that it's a P25 system. We're going to get to our scanner here. Press program, which is right here. And I'll bring up this on the screen. What you want to do, you want to press new. Now because we're programming in a Project 25 system, or a P25, we're going to program a new t talk group, which is abbreviated by TGRP. Press F1. And I'll take you to this talk group menu, programming menu. Now what you want to do, when you scan through them, it's going to show up as a scan list. And that's going to basically be the bank. So I want mine to be on 1, so I'm going to press select. That's going to put a star next to whatever number you choose. So say I don't want a 1, let's go up here to, let's go up to 2. There. Now it's on 2. So now we choose. Now that we chose our correct uh, um, right, scan list, yeah, scan list. Now that we chose that. You want to go down here to talk system. Now this is when you first program this system in. You're going to want to press the right arrow. Make sure it says new, and press select. When you do that, it'll come up with this trunked system menu. Now we are programming in a Project 25. You can choose whatever you want. This here is Motorola 800-900 MHz, Motorola VHF UHF, uh, P25, P25 Automatic, which is very useful, uh, EDAX Standard, EDAX Narrowband, LTR, and then back to the Motorola. So what we're going to do, since our county was Project 25, P25, we're going to go to P25 Auto. Down here, under tag, this is where you could choose the name. So you go in here and you type in your letters. You clear all these out by pressing this clear button. Hold it in. Get rid of all that. Now, what you want to do is it takes a little while to get used to. If I want to program a D in, I'm going to press 3 and then 1. And I'll come up with the D. See these letters up there? first letter equates to a 1, second one a 2, and the third one a, f a 3. So if I'm going to do an E, I'll go 3, 2, and there's an E. Okay, so I'm going to call it DE for now. Go down here to frequencies and press the select button, and here you will program in all your frequencies. Now make sure you get them all in correctly or else your system will not, you will not be able to monitor your system. So I'm going to start with 500.4375, 500.4375, that's going to be there, you press select and make sure you go advance to your second frequency, and our next frequency would be 5015125, so you keep doing that for all of your frequencies, then you press save. Once you have all your frequencies programmed, you can fool around with these settings here, however, you will be able to listen to your system as it is now. So you press save. Now we have the talk system programmed in. 
Now we're going to program in a talk group. So if we scroll down the page, your talk groups will be right here. Police Channel 1. That's what I want to listen to. So I'm going to type in 11001. Now, what you want to do, you want to clear all this out. And then 1101. And there it is. Done. If you don't feel like programming in the talk groups you want to listen to, you can just keep it at on Wildcard, which is the default setting. Like that. That will scan every single talk group in your system. Then you press save. You successively created a listenable, monitorable um, talk group for your talk system. I just showed you how to do a P25 and it's very similar to other systems uh, that are trunking such as LTR, EDAX, um, all the other ones out there are pretty much similar. So now if you're if you're in an old county uh, with with regular old style radios, you're going to want to do conventional. This is if if your fire is around 30 megahertz or 40 megahertz and your police are up there either 150 or 460, that's going to be conventional or even 800 in some cases. So that's very easy to program. Is press conventional, select your scan list, and type in the frequency. So I'm going to type in our weather frequency for our area, which is 162.55. Select. You can change the name of it here. I'm going to keep mine channel. And squelch mode is very useful if you have a couple of free, if you have a couple of users in the same frequency in nearby counties. This goes very this comes in handy a lot when you're listening to EMS because they're limited to very few frequencies. So you type in your if if you have a PL, you know it, you would type in CTCSS. And then for the frequency, you would type in you would choose your right one. So let's just say that it is 123. Go up here to 123 and down. Now we have all these saved. Well, we have we have all the basic functions chosen. You could change your LED, and that's pretty much self-explanatory. You just choose other ones like this, like that. So we'll press save. So it's programmed in. I believe I put in two or four. We'll see. I forget what I did. So I'm not sure. it's not any of these. Let's see. Wasn't in one. Let's see if it was in two. No. Let's see if it was in three. It's in one of these. Oh, I know the problem. I had the CTCS enabled, and they don't have any tones in that frequency. So that is how you basically program your Pro 106 digital trunking scanner. Uh, it's it's a very nice scanner once you know how to use it. Could be difficult to program at times, but once you get it, it's not that bad. If you have any questions, please write a comment down here. And like I said, I already have different videos up showing how to program the scanner. This is just a more improved video now that I know how to use it better. And I have I'm in, I'm trying to answer people's questions with other videos. So hopefully, I answer you guys' questions that asked me a couple months ago when I uploaded my video back in May. So Pro 106 digital trunking scanner. Not a bad scanner at all. I have different reviews up here of this scanner. Just click on Mr. Twister 55 up there, and you can see all my videos there on my on my channel of this scanner. I have many videos up, including uh, tornado warnings and how to program it, other videos, um, a review of it, an overview of it, stuff like that. So check them out and add a comment if you have any questions. I'll try to answer them. Mr. Twister 55.